How's it going so far? Business seems to be okay. What do you see the biggest risks to Capgemini in the next 12 months? So first point, before talking about risk, I would just underline that in the fourth quarter, we, we accelerate our growth, and notably in the U.S. The U.S. was the, the weak point at the end of 16. We committed on a turnaround that, that is now fully accomplished. We delivered 5 percent growth in North America all year long, and we ended in the fourth quarter with more than 12 percent growth. So for us, digital is the engine, uh, and it now accounts for 40 percent, as you just said. So this is a new demand, because it shows that the business is now eager to buy technology. So historically, a company like Capgemini had sold mainly to the IT director, to the CIO. Now the entire company is hungry for technology. So now, when you speak of risk, uh, maybe protectionism, uh, but this is something we have been handling for a while. Um, so back to the risks for the next 12 months. It's good the positives, and actually, congratulations, your share price is gaining some 5.6 percent. But where do you see the biggest risks? So the first point, just to, is for the last five years, Capgemini has been a margin story. So we recovered. We have now, I, I guess, the best margin as a European player. And we told the market that we are turning Capgemini into a growth story, because we think we can gain market share. We, uh, s we shared with the market an ambition to grow organically 5 to 7 percent. And we now can say we will be there in a year. So we are accelerating. To that, added to the free cash flow generation, which is quite healthy, we can probably add one to two points of external growth. So Capgemini is becoming a growth story. Um, talk to me about hiring. Are you hiring more people in France? And what are you hearing about your customers? Are they more confident about the French economy so, going forward than they were 12 months ago? So. First, uh, France is about 20 percent of the group revenue. We are number one in France. I, I think we gain market share. We delivered a growth of 5.4 percent in France, so we are ahead of the market. 24,000 people out of 200,000. We are growing modestly, but we are growing in France. People in France look more confident. Uh, what I would say is they are more growth-oriented investments. So IT can often support productivity and cost-cutting. In the recent years, we have seen growth uh, being the source of our investment. But with 5 percent, uh, France is behind our best market in Europe, since in Germany, Nordics and Italy, we are growing by 10 percent or more. Um, talk to me about consolidation. I think I asked you last time you came on, on, on uh, in October. Are you still expecting consolidation and w in your industry? And what kind of player can Capgemini be in it? So, uh, Capgemini is a, a, today a, a little of a strange animal. Since we have 40 percent of the group that grows by 24 percent, which is quite spectacular. And we said the group will grow next year 6 to 7. It means that the rest is shrinking a little bit, less because of volume reduction than because of competitiveness. So it's the world of automation. The next big driver for the group, as for the entire economy, will be artificial intelligence. I, I think today we have more than 10,000 people that are already mobilizing AI solution. That will be the main driver for the economical growth. And of course, Capgemini will take its share of that benefit.